Hi friends, today we're taking a look at the newly released Natasha Denona My Mini Dream Palette. There is a mini blush compact that released with the mini. I unfortunately wasn't able to grab it. Surprisingly, the Sephora I visited had just one of these amongst the mini glams and the mini bronze palettes. Asked one of the employees if they had the blush. They did not. It's okay. I could always come back on here if I choose to purchase it at some point so you could take a look at the swatches, but I wanted to fill in order to compare my mini dream to mini glam mini nude mini baby and also contemplate as to why she didn't go the plum route so here okay my mini dream came from the original my dream palette here is the color scheme you have the plums you have the topes you have the plums you have the mauves in here with the duochrome shade and the shade that natasha was inspired to build the mini around was this one here nurture found in the original my dream here and i thought okay if she didn't go the plum route because people might have expected maybe she went familia or she went edgy or instinct and i thought perhaps she went nurture the more mauvey route because we already have mini love and i think she released another mini love palette at some capacity i don't quite recall and she has mini leela which leela actually the original palette that held the shades that are found in my dream forgot the palette that had a shade from Oh, was it retro? Oh my God, I can't recall. My dream is inspired by Natasha's favorite shades from her entire collection, Serenity. Not quite the same as what's found in her star palette, but similar. And Nurture reminds me of uh, the color that's found in Leela. And there is a mini Leela, right? So maybe Natasha thought if she went the plum route from the dream palette that it would look too much like her love or mini Leela, but this kind of looks like a mini I need a nude and this is the original I need a nude here and you can see when it's right up against right that this totally could have been from I need a nude and here it is up against the original my dream interesting right she went much cooler now i do like the dark brown i think it takes on more of a plum let me double check however because on natasha's site she usually oh on here as well okay we're on the sephora page uh devotion let's just get into the swatches shall we but before the swatches this retails for 27 dollars and it is made in Italy. Currently available, I believe, on NatashaDenona.com, which I'm an affiliate of. Alicia 15 woo, woo, for 15% off. Sephora, it is available on as well. And I think Beautylish, that's, that might be it, maybe? First, we'll start with Devotion. A metallic, medium, cool nude. Balance. A matte, taupe, light nude. Nope. That, that was not Balance. That was Passionate. A metallic, light rose taupe. Okay. <laughs> Now we have Balance, the matte light taupe nude. Loyalty, matte deep burgundy brown. Burgundy brown, interesting. And lastly, Nurture, which is found in the original My Dream, a matte medium cool nude. So here are all the shades from My Dream Mini. Why don't I have those there so I could compare them to the darker browns in, let's say, Mini Nude, for instance. Here is the reddish brown right from mini nude a lot more red than was found from mini dream someone was asking me how this will look on deeper complexions i think the my dream mini will look a little frosty on deeper complexions sitting more on the cool spectrum where if you want it more warm and maybe it appear more neutral versus cool i would go with mini nude i will also consider the original mini glam now this dark brown i feel is more neutral in undertone compared to loyalty so here is the brown from mini glam you can see that loyalty i would consider this interesting that they call it a burgundy brown i would feel like that's a plum brown but this is i think more of a black brown matte and the other shades in here i feel like the mini glam leans overall more sandy beige nude and you have this beautiful khaki color here this khaki metallic that i think sets the entire tone 
of Mini Glam, in my opinion. I don't think it compares to Mini Dream. Mini Dream is definitely more taupe, kind of light-ish in that way. And you have Mini Biba, other dark brown. I feel is more of a, a burgundy brown. Yeah, that's more burgundy brown to me than what loyalty is giving. I feel like loyalty, in my opinion, is more of a plum brown. And then we have this purple from the Mini Love palette. Oop, let me, let me wipe these fingers. This, I feel, is giving more violet. I'll actually swatch it right in between. Yeah, that's giving more violet versus here in loyalty, you definitely detect more of the brown undertone. And then next to that shade from Mini Love, you have a more violet leaning matte from the palette. So that's why I suspect Natasha went that round. This is an assumption on my part. I don't know entirely for sure, but based on what she already has in her mini collection, maybe she didn't go the plum route from my dream because of existing Mini Love and Mini Leela, although in my opinion, the Mini Dream looks like more of a Mini I Need a Nude. And interesting if she does decide to go or create a Mini I Need a Nude, where she'll go from there. The only thing I would suspect is that she would include the more specialized shades in the Mini, which I hope she does. Even if the color scheme is similar to my dream mini, I would consider buying, dirty fingers. I would consider buying I Need a New Mini if she included the wet effect formula in the smaller pants, 100%, because those would be great to have as a to-go palette in need of that super reflective sun shining on the water effect, as I love to describe, because that's exactly what it is. If we could have something like Muse or Delilah in a mini format, and maybe she can steer it more rose, I know Biba is kind of giving rose already, mini Biba, which is why I love it, but you have, well, you have three mattes, one cream to powder, and then one metallic. Maybe this will be a setup for mini I Need a Nude if she goes that route. The standout metallic being the what effect formula, maybe a cream to powder, because there's no cream to powder in I Need a Nude. They're all mattes, coupled with the metallics and the wet effect. Hmm, hmm. Well, with all details and speculations out the way, it's time for you to come in a little closer. <gasps> That's enough. If you would like to see a quick tutorial, I already have one on my YouTube shorts using Mini My Dream, and I'll basically do similar to what I did. Maybe I'll do something a little different, huh? I'm sorry that the lighting is a little warm, it's so cloudy outside and I'm relying on my glam core here and my overhead light is pretty warm. I still wanted to film because I didn't know what tomorrow will look like and it's one of those things where if the opportunity arises, you know, perfection can be the enemy of good. This is good enough for now. I hope you understand. In my original YouTube short, I started with nurture and went in with loyalty on the outer corner maybe i could start off with what is this passionate no can't read balance i'll start off with balance and i'll start off with both mats just so you can see the man action and make a comparison actually let me grab the i really love the 14 max from refer because it's domed and i think appropriate to pick up these lighter shades with so you can see the color better and let's go in with balance first. I'll run that through the crease. And this color on me is definitely more taupe. It's hard to detect actual shading. You could kind of see it. It's not robust in color richness on my skin tone, but it does give a little bit of shading. And next with Nurture, the color that inspired the My Dream Mini, I'll place it here on this side and you can definitely see a lot more shading. I love Nurture. Shades like Nurture, like these taupey type of mauve moments. What is happening? I have like a, a shadow here on my cheekbone and I don't know why. Let's buff out, see if that works. Hmm, hmm. That's a little better. I don't know what's going on, whatever. Anyway, Nurture 
is one of my most favorite shades in terms of just having the taupe mauviness. I love the taupe mauviness because it gives me sculpt without it being too cool on my eyes. You know what I'm saying? Now, Loyalty, I thought Loyalty performed well. The Natasha mattes, the dark mattes can be hit or miss sometimes where they latch onto the skin and it hard to blend. But I found during my demo from last night where I packed on Loyalty, I was pretty successful in blending it out. But what I like to do is rely on a brush like this. This is the Refer 01 Mini. And I find it more successful to lay down the color first with the flat side. So you have a more even placement there. Because if I were to go in with a brush like this, or not necessarily, I, I would actually have a similar outcome. More like this like a mini blender, it's not going to lay down the color I feel as evenly simply because of the brush design, right? It's a blender. It's meant to blend, not necessarily place color on the lid. But with this brush, the various bristle lengths in the brush allow for blending when I'm simply whisking it in this manner, right? It doesn't take a lot of manipulation, but I think this performs quite well. I was surprised while doing my YouTube short. I was like, oh, this is actually, uh, this is a good dark brown matte. Now, I did say originally it's giving me more plum. It's here, right? Swatches terribly, but as long as it gets on the eyes, I don't really don't care. Maybe it is more of a black brown. I can't. I can't pick up the burgundy, however. That's an interesting description. Burgundy dark brown, eh? I don't know about that. Now on the center, on my YouTube short, on the smoky eye, I applied this, what did I apply? I applied, I think it was this first metallic, Devotion. So instead, I'll go in with Passionate now on the center of my lid for that spotlight effect. Now that we relied on loyalty to create these smoky brackets, brackets, and I'll punch on Passionate and gently overlap that shade. Ooh, that's pretty. I like how that looks. Okay, taking my 14 again to carefully blend the edges of these shades now through the crease. And actually, I'll take the brush that I just showed. I think, well, actually, an even smaller one. This is the 13 mini. This I feel more appropriate to use for the lash line, 100%. Since I'm not laying down color in the same manner I was on my outer corner here on the lid, since I'm just having the color on the lower lash line, it doesn't have to appear in the same way. Yeah, so, ooh, that's, we're gonna smoke it. And now I'll take the same passionate color that I placed on the center of my lid. On the lower inner, I could have actually went in with the other metallic. It's all good though. It's all good. So let's whip this now on the inner corner. Okay. That's smoky. Now with devotion on the entire lid of this eye. We started with nurture on the crease. So interesting to see how devotion will look paired with nurture now on the majority of the lid. And I could go in with loyalty as my smoky wing shade of choice. But I think just so you can see how this appears with nurture and devotion solo, I'll actually go in with nurture here on the lower lash line because this in itself could be beautiful all on its own with just these two shades, right? Or you could go smoky oaky. I like this a lot. I like I like the softness of it. I do want to go in just with a little a little bit of shading and I won't go in the same manner I did on my YouTube short. This is a Hokuto brush. It's a liner one, but I simply want to stamp loyalty on the lash line. I don't necessarily want to create a smoky wing, right? We already saw what that did. It 
definitely creates an entirely different eye look, 100%. But I think this color is exceptional, the shadow exceptional for creating a little more intensity on your lash line if you wish to not use a pencil. You most certainly can, but I do think applying shadow liner makes the overall look softer, in my opinion. I'm just carefully taking, whisking, evening out the blend here. And notice I'm just stopping at the edge of my lash line. I do not want to go beyond that point for the reasons I already explained. Passionate, yes, on the inner corner of our highlight of choice and just so you can see because sometimes hard to detect just from this solo light where you can see a little bit of twinkle from these metallics so i think although the shades are simple beautiful sparkle especially if you allow them to settle right if you just apply them wait a few hours and you'll see the different color pearl in here Right, I know it's sometimes hard to detect, but these are the swatches. Look at that. I think they're beautiful. They have gorgeous shine. And you just need that right light exposure to properly illuminate the effect that's sometimes hard to make out just from the lid from head on light. Shadow is done. Let's slap on these lashes and I'll be right back. Here are the final looks using Mini My Dream. And it's a solid palette. From a standpoint of formulation, color choice, it's solid, 100%. I think people are not concerned about that because sure, there have been misses with the Natasha Denona minis. I think she's mostly had hits and this is one of them. The concern, however, is the generic part of it. It's that these are shades that are pretty much already existing in her collection. Could you create something similar with what you already have from your Natasha Denona Palace? 100%. I don't think you'll be able to tell if this came from the original Glam Midi, or maybe you could probably tell if you use this color instead, the khaki color instead of the more champagne or taupe leaning metallics found in Mini Glam, but the feel is similar, right? The smokiness, the neutral point of it is similar. And more importantly, if you already have the original My Dream, I gotta say, however, the loyalty, the dark matte performs better, in my opinion, than Aspiration. Aspiration is a little dry, maybe because I haven't tried it with the Refer Mini 01, maybe I'll have a, an, e an easier time blending out this color. I do think this is on the drier side and I feel loyalty is exceptional. Now again, maybe more due to my brush choice. If you were to use a blender type of brush, I don't think it will come out as even, just my opinion and based on my own experience using various brush and formula combinations when it comes to eyeshadow, Again, you can't go wrong with these shades. I mean, especially, I, I'm speaking from my skin tone. If you're deeper complected, I think the metallics are gonna look more frosty on you. The dark brown will show for sure. Balance, I think, will show up more as a highlight and Nurture might show up ashy. It's not going to create the same uh, contouring and sculpting as it does on my skin tone. You'll get shading from Loyalty, but these two metallics, I think, will look on the frostier side on the center of your lid. If you already have Mini Glam, I think this color will serve you better. And also, Mini Nude. I know Mini Nude is not as neutral leaning, is more red leaning because of this brown, but these shades, the more bronzy, coppery shades, I think are better suited for deeper skin tones. Not just so much the color, but because the depth of color is not going to show as icy and frosty which is not a bad thing either. Maybe that's something or a finish that you you like sometimes because the more frosty, icy colors is glam as well, depending on, depending on your preference, but it's truly up to you. Again, I think this is a solid mini. If I were speaking for someone who doesn't have any, zero Natasha Denona palettes, they wanna dip the toes in the brand, they're looking for not something like this, a whole caboodle of 15 shades, but something smaller, more manageable, 
my dream mini you can't go wrong with in my opinion in my opinion it's 27 dollars the shades are solid all that to say is a great price for natasha denona the formula is solid across the board i love the looks i created 100 percent but I'm saying this not to the person who already has all the Natasha Denona palettes, who doesn't necessarily need Mini My Dream, right? Because you already have various tones of dark browns from Natasha, lots of taupes, lots of this and that. I don't think it's a must if you have as many Natasha Denona palettes as I do. Now, if you like to collect these, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you if you just want to get it just to get it because you are committed to collecting each and every mini Natasha releases. I hear you, friend. I know sometimes that's how it goes. Be my guest. But I hope this video helped in just providing some perspective. Hopefully the comparison swatches helped and just seeing Mini My Dream up against the original My Dream, the I Need a Nude, and the other minis. Let me know what you're thinking down below. What do you think about it? Whether you're gonna go for it, you're gonna skip it. I would love to know. Maybe eventually down the line, I'll pick up the blush because I do like the sizes of her mini blush compacts. I think they're easy to travel with and the fact that you have highlighter in there with two shades of rose is appealing to me. But we'll see. I'll see you down in those comments, family. And until then, that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, I will see you on here again with another review tutorial, Natasha Denona Extravaganza, or Pat McGrath rankings. I'm working on it. Stay tuned. Take care, and I will see you again soon.